Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. The successive release of Huawei's Mate 60 series and Pura 70 series mobile phones basically means that Huawei's smartphones have completed domestic substitution, and the Kirin chip and Harmony OS system have solved the problem of lack of core and lack of soul. Just when many Huawei fans are excited about Huawei's outstanding breakthroughs in fields such as chips and operating systems, the United States has begun a new round of restrictions. According to news from foreign media and many domestic media, the United States has continued to expand its chip export controls to China and revoked the licenses of Qualcomm and Intel to sell semiconductors to Huawei. The first thing that needs to be made clear is that the United States has restricted the shipment of advanced chips. Especially Chinese companies like Huawei that are included in the entity list of the United States will be more stringent in terms of chip imports. In order to continue to ship chips to Huawei and even the entire Chinese chip market, Qualcomm and Intel have actually applied for shipping licenses. Qualcomm can ship some 4G Snapdragon chips to Huawei, while Intel is allowed to ship PC computer processor CPU chips to Huawei. One thing worth noting is that many U.S. media previously considered the U.S. restrictions unfair because Intel has a shipping license, but AMD does not have a shipping license to Huawei. However, judging from the current situation, the United States is even more worried about Huawei's rapid development and rise in the fields of chips operating systems, artificial intelligence, and new energy vehicle driverless technology, especially after the release of the Mate 60 series and Pura 70 series. Therefore, it is not surprising that the United States suddenly revoked the shipment licenses of Intel and Qualcomm. One thing worth noting is that restricting Qualcomm's chip shipments actually has little impact on Huawei. After all, Huawei's smartphones have begun to fully use Kirin chips independently developed and designed by Huawei and handled by domestic chip foundry companies. But for Huawei, if Intel's shipment license is revoked, Huawei will start to have difficulties in PC processor chips. Previously, Huawei's PC processors actually used chips shipped by Intel. However, Huawei's previous performance in the field of PC computers was not as eye-catching as in the field of smartphones. Therefore, the United States has not targeted Huawei's PC computers and PC processing. The weapon starts. However, Huawei's PC computer sales and market share continue to rise, even surpassing Hewlett Packard, a famous American PC company, and ranking third in the domestic market. This has also begun to worry the United States. But for Huawei, this is actually not a big problem. It can even take this opportunity to accelerate Huawei's development in PC computers. Previously, without the support of sufficient EDA software and the latest AIM architecture, 
Huawei still designed chips with excellent performance such as Kirin 9000s and Kirin 9010. This actually means that the biggest problem with Huawei's chips is only chip foundry. How to produce them is more difficult for Huawei than how to design the chips. However, it is not difficult to see from the current news that Huawei has obtained a stable chip foundry channel. For the United States to cut off the supply of chips, it will only be affected in the early stage, but it can accelerate the process of localized replacement in the later stage. There is no doubt that the United States has always wanted to target Huawei because it is worried that Huawei's rapid development will affect American technology companies. However, judging from the current situation, the United States continues to expand the scope of restrictions, which is actually promoting the rapid development of Chinese chips. For a long time, Intel has been on the front line of resistance to chip regulations, insisting on not interrupting its supply to the Chinese market. It even bluntly said, if it is decoupled from the mainland market, then there is no need to build a world factory in the United States. High-end chips will rot in warehouses. Faced with such a response, the United States did not take coercive measures. The reason is simple. Intel is the top chip manufacturer in the country. Without it being clear that TSMC will build a factory in the United States, the Biden team will definitely not want to completely fall out. But now the situation has completely changed. After providing $11.6 billion in subsidies, TSMC not only increased its investment, but also confirmed that it will build a third 2 nanometers factory in Arizona. This has also completely reassured the Biden team. This is probably a sign of Intel's reasons for initiating enforcement measures. But obviously the United States has made things simple. Huawei can develop and produce high-end mobile phone chips on its own, and it must not be difficult to develop its own PC chips. If you agree, please like it, welcome to repost, leave a message and share it.